All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is something pretty sweet that I found online browsing uh, the other day. I found this off of eBay when I was just checking out to see if there's any cool dual decks. And I found this. It is the world's smallest Magic the Gathering Jace vs. Varaska dual decks. That's exactly what these are. These are miniaturized decks. I believe there's actually playable cards in here. I think they're the full 60 card decks. That's absolutely crazy. They're super tiny. We're going to be comparing these to the size of other Magic the Gathering cards just to see how small these are. What a strange little product. Super gimmicky, super wacky, super fun. Get these, bring them to your Friday Night Magic, and play some miniature Magic decks. You can fit these on a very small table. If you have a small table or something like that, you can't play with regular sized cards. This is just fun. This is more of a novelty than anything, but I thought it would be super sweet. I love Magic the Gathering, and this is the perfect kind of thing to cover on this channel. So let's just kind of go over it, open it up, and see what it's about. Uh, let's see, it says world's smallest. Got a little picture of an ant right there. Got the TM symbol right there. You do have the planeswalker symbol right here. Uh, I, I think that they did contact Magic the Gathering to make these. I don't think this is a complete ripoff or knockoff where they didn't have permission or anything like that, but I could be wrong. I did get this off eBay and it cost me like $12. Obviously, you got the Jace deck and the Veraska deck. What does it say? Six plus. Includes 120 cards, two tuck boxes, and instructions. So it looks like the whole decks are in here. That's so wild. I don't think you can find sleeves for these, though. They're very tiny. Magic the Gathering, Jace vs. Raska, dual decks. Yes, actually works. I mean, it's not like there's any technology in here. It's literally just cardboard. As long as you can read them or pick them up, they, they should work. You got the little Planeswalkers here. Warning, Choking Hazard SI. I'm not sure. That's probably produced it. And on the back, it says, Fully Playable 60 Card Deck. Again, fully playable 60 card deck. They got their little World's Smallest logo all over it. Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering representative logo. So I do believe that they did contact Magic to make this. Super cool that they did that. And let's just see what's on the bottom. Uh, 2020 Super Impulse USA. It's exactly what this was for me. A Super Impulse buy. Just because it's such a wacky product. I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's just so wild. I just wanted to open it up. Check it out with y'all. Compare it to some regular Magic the Gathering cards. And just really... Have some fun with it. So well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to open this up and go from there. Let's just... Okay. These packaging. I'm never a huge fan of these sort of packagings. Did you look at that? And I don't think these are actual cards right here. Like Planeswalker decks, they have the actual cards there. This just looks like a cardboard sort of insert. Ugh. And that's, that's what it is. But it does look like they do have... Oh my goodness. They make miniature everything. Miniature Silly Putty. Miniature Care Bears. Miniature those sort of video... Oh my, miniature Barbies. What an interesting company. I never even heard of this. And they give you their whole catalog. What is this? Miniature Blasters or... I have no idea. This is wild. Uh, today we're focusing on the magic though. And uh, obviously nothing. And this is pretty much it. You got these two little decks right here. Absolutely tiny, probably like two inches by like an inch and a half or something like that. And I guess there's some full 60 card decks in here. I just thought this was such a wacky thing. Fully playable, you got Jace dual deck. How cool is this? Oh wow, even a little saran. <laughs> Look at this, this is so cool. Oh, what? You can't even read that. No way. This text is ridiculously long. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to have to try to play a game with these though. Okay. If I can even open this up. Oy. It's almost as thick as the cards are wide. <laughs> that is so funky. This is so crazy. No way. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my goodness. This is real. Okay. You got the J stick. That is so crazy. You can't even, like, come on. Tell me. Come on, camera. Focus for me. I, I, I'm not going to be able to read these cards like the way I want until your next turn. Whenever a creature an opponent controls, attacks, uh, it gets negative one, negative zero until end of turn. Okay, so I can read them. Uh, if I wasn't behind the camera and I got real up close to it, I could probably read it better. It's more of a plasticky kind of uh, feel, which is good. Um, they seem pretty solid. Oh man, this is this is so wild. And let's just go ahead and let's open up Varaska's real quick. And we'll just kind of thrum through the cards and just uh, 
stop on any notable ones or anything like that and just really have some fun with it. And I'm going to compare them to sizes of other Magic Gathering cards just to get you in perspective just how miniature these things are. They're absolutely tiny, lily put, very small. And uh, there we go. If I can open this up. This is so wild. What a strange product. This is so crazy. How cool is that? Thick decks, hard to shuffle them. I'm so sure I don't think you can find sleeves for these. But first of all, let's compare these to regular Magic the Gathering cards. Okay, this is a regular Magic the Gathering card. This is the tiny little one right here. It's literally like a fourth of the card. You could probably fit four of them in here. Literally, uh, these are about the fourth of the size of a regular Magic the Gathering card. Super, super tiny right here. I can't believe they actually printed the whole dual decks. It's wild. So this is a regular Magic the Gathering card. Let's compare it to something else. I have a Vanguard Magic card, which is even bigger. Yeah, whoop. Man, these piles are going to knock everywhere. So even bigger. And then I do have one of the biggest Magic cards, or some of them. One of these promos, these 6x9 Magic cards. And this thing is just monstrous compared to that. Boom, look at this. Come on, this is a joke. This is so tiny. <laughs> Can't even fit it all on camera. But I mean, look at this. This is so small. Let's just do a little size comparison. Line them all up. Broom. <laughs> so cool. All right, now let's just kind of thumb through the cards and have some fun with it. This is so cool. And uh, if I can read them, I can. If I can, I can. Obviously, you got the Planeswalker. You got Jace, Architect of Thought, hanging out there. You got... Uh, Chronomation, this guy, you tap him and he puts counters on himself. You pay one tap, puts some counters on it. And they even got the dual deck symbol right there. That's so wild. Jace's Phantasm. Man, these are very tiny. Oh my god. Uh, what is this? Phantasmal Bears. It's a bear illusion. When it becomes target of spell ability, sacrifice it. It's a 2 2 for one blue. Interesting. Uh, Ether Figment. What does this say? Uh, Crosstown Courier. Hanging out there. It's a 2-1 for 1 and a blue. When it deals combat damage to player, that player may put, uh, puts that many cards at the top of his library to his graveyard. So mill them a little bit. Got Dream Stalker. Man, I could see that these, like, could just be knocking all over the board. They are so small. Giving a sneeze or something, just knock them everywhere. Look at this crazy looking monkey with a red head. 1 and a blue for a 1-5. When it enters the battlefield, return target permanent control to his owner's hand. Got, a uh, Crovokian Krov Mist. Power toughest equal to the number of illusions on the battlefield, so it's at least a 1-1 one, one for if it has itself. Got two of those. This is so wild. Got Seagate Oracle. Cool car right there, like the blue aura. He's doing some magic, levitating something. So 1-3 for two and a blue. Enters the battlefield. Uh, look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand and the other in the bottom of your library. So you kind of get a scry. Stealer of Secrets. Man, these are so tiny. I'm, I'm viewing it through the camera because uh, it's very hard for me to even see them. Got Ether Adept. Arcomancer, this is a great card. When it enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcery from grave at your hand. Got a uh, phantasmal dragon. Comes target a spell or ability, sacrifice it. Got body devils as a clone. You may body devil into the battlefield to copy any creature. <laughs> these are so cool. Obviously, these cards don't have, probably have like regular value, like regular Magic the Gathering cards. This is more of just like a novelty for fun thing. Leyline Phantom. Eon uh, Chronicler. These are so small. Rifting Cloudscape. And there's going to be a bunch of lands in here too. Jake's, Jace's uh, Mind Seeker. It'd be cool if they came out with another dual deck so you can actually combine them and uh, make some cool custom decks. Errant. Uh, Ephemeron. Not sure. Crazy looking art. Who drew this? By Luca Zotini. Got Jace's uh, Ingenuity. Well, look at this card right here. It's like a demon made out of crystals and there's like a mage blowing some fire at him wow contra target creature spell put a 2-2 blue illusion creature token in the battlefield for four mana instant speed ray of command i've heard of this one what uh, uh grip tide put target creature on top of its owner's library got remand contra target spell let's put that in the exile it and then draw a card sending to jail Man, this is a real close to the camera lens. They look like regular sized cards when it's real close, but these are tiny. Like, this is my thumb. <laughs> Got Prohibit. Memory Lapse. Into the Royal. Thought Scour. Another Thought Scour. These are so wild. I remember this card. Spell, spell Twin. 
Exile, target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard, and target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard. Copy those cards. Cast those copies, if able, without paying their mana cost. Exile it. Hmm, interesting. Got Mirrorfolk Wayfinder. Flying the Manta Ray in the sky. Oh, what is this? Agrophobia, fear of going outside, I think, or something like that. Claustrophobia, fear of small spaces. Terrible. Uh, control Magic. Cool card right here. You control enchanted creatures. So gain control of it for four mana. Future Sight, play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library, so it's like adding an extra card to your hand. Look at that, it's like eyes in the mouth. The tree is like a face. Oh, there's actually skulls in the background too. Wow, crazy, by Dan Scott. And it looks like we're onto some lands. Got uh, Hilmar Depths. Some non-basics. <laughs> Dread Sanctuary, I think it'd become a golem or something like that. Pay four, becomes a 4-2 golem artifact creature until end of turn. It's still land. I always kind of like lands with multiple abilities like that. And it doesn't even enter the battlefield tap. That's pretty cool. Then he got a bunch of islands. And they're they're not just all the same art. They literally copied the dual decks, I think, down to a T. I don't actually have these dual decks, but that's cool. I thought for whatever reason, the islands would all be like the same art. But I think they literally printed the dual decks. That is so wild. All right, let's check out the other one. And now we're going to check out Varaska's deck right here. Again, the Planeswalkers. Really cool, but they are so tiny. You need a magnifying glass or a microscope to read anything on there. Let's get this camera to focus a bit. Varaska the Unseen. Wow, I destroy target and online permanent. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, this one's like real thick. Is there like two? I don't know, that was real thick. I don't know if that was supposed to be stuck together like that. Man, these are hard to <laughs> hard to hold. Varaska the Unseen. Look at that color. Pulse Tracker, love the greens of Vampire Rogue. When it attacks, each opponent loses a life. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1. That's pretty cool. Shadow Ally uh, Denzim. Denzin. Tavern Swindler. She's trying to swindle some people. Right a Precinct 6. This is a great zombie. Gets plus one, plus one for each card in your opponent's graveyard. Man, this is hard to hold for me. My hands are a little warm, too. A very hot day. It's like 90. Death Hood Cobra. Look at that. Gatekeeper of Vine. Cool art by Woods Trevor. Can't even read that. <laughs> These are so tiny. You got two of those. Vine Lasher Kazood. One in a green. Whenever land enters the battlefield under control, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. So it's a 1-1, one -one, pretty much he gets to counter himself, put a counter on him every turn, because you want to pretty much have a land drop every turn. Got Putrid Leech, nasty, black and a green, pay 2 life, gets plus 2 plus 2 to end of turn. Activate this ability only once each turn, so it become a 4-4, four -four, if if so be. Sadistic, sadistic uh, Augur Mage, State Street uh, Ruffle Man, what the heck? He's got his axe, he's walking around. Oran Reef Recluse, the spiders, probably got Reach. Spawn, uh, Spawn Rith. Not sure. Stone Fair Crocodile. Cool little crocodile right there. Two in a green, two in a black. Sacrifice it. Uh, no. Oh, Stone Face Crocodile gains a lifelink tone. Turns to 3 2. Man, these are funky to hold. Uh, what is this? Got a Viper. Oran Viper, 1 and 2 green. What does it do? It's a 1 3. Whenever Owen Viper deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature. Uh, da, da, deals common damage your player may draw a card. Okay. Corpse traders trading those corpses. Uh, Fester hide boar. It's a Pumba running through the forest. Got mold shambler. It's a fungus beast. It's a three three for a three and a green. You can kick it, and if you kicked it, destroy target non creature permanent. Get rid of that planeswalker. Got highway robbers. They're robbing people. The blue wig lady. Got necrotal. Enters the battlefield, destroy target, non out effect, non black creature. That can't be regenerated this turn. Really cool. It's got first strike two, two and a one. Makes me think of that uh, ravenous chupacabra card. Uh, Reaper of the Wilds. Very cool. This is a rare. Two black and a green. Whenever another creature dies, scry one. Pay black, gain death touch, pay one and a green. Gains hexproof. Very cool. So you can kind of protect it. Got Acidic Slime, got Death Touch. When it enters the battlefield, destroy target, artifact, enchantment, or land. Very cool. It's a 2-2, two -two, but it is 5 mana, so kind of expensive. But it's got Death Touch, and you can remove something. Got Drooling 
uh, Grodian. 3, 2, black, and a green. You pay uh, 2, black, and a green. Sacrifice a creature. Target creature gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Another target creature gets negative 2, negative 2 until end of turn. Okay. Hypnotic Cloud. Crazy looking art. By Randy Galus. Knight's Whisper. This is a pretty good card right here. One and a black. You draw two cards and lose two life. A mana per card. That's pretty sweet. So sorcery speed. Some of these are feel thick or something like that. Got Marsh Casualties. Treasured Find. Tragic Slip. No way. That's a great card right there. That's so cool. I could have pulled out a Tragic Slip to compare it. One black. Target creature gets negative one, negative one till end of turn, and it's got that morbid where if a creature died this turn, it gets negative thirteen, negative thirteen till end of turn. Super powerful card, one of my favorite removal spells of all the game. Uh, for one mana, you can just really do a whole lot of damage. Got two of those, got last kiss, two and a black. Deals two damage to target creature, you gain two life. Tragic slip is way better. Consuming strength, I always thought this art was very interesting. One a black and a green. Target creature gets plus two plus two till end of turn. Another target creature gets negative two, negative two till end of turn. Okay. Uh Grizzly Spectacle, 2-2 two two black, destroy target non-artifact creature. Its controller puts a number of cards equal to the creature's power from the top of his or library into its graveyard. So it's a little bit of a mill deck, mill card. You think this would actually be in Jace's deck, but yeah. Instant speed, creature removal. Got Stab Wound, brutal card right there. Uh, she looks like she's stabbed and she's hurting. 2 and a black, enchant creature gets negative 2, negative 2. The beginning of your upkeep, enchanted creature's controller. Uh, that player loses 2 life. It's a cool card right there, actually. Underworld uh, Connections. One into black. This is a rare enchant land. Enchant land has tap, pay a life, draw a card. So you can use it as like a little card draw. Then it looks like we're onto the lands right here. We got a Guild Gate. Oh, Rogue's Passage. Great card right here. And great non-basic land. Just throw it in the deck. It doesn't enter taps, which is cool. It adds colorless. And you pay four to make a, a creature uh, unblockable. Pretty sweet. Got Tainted Wood. It's like a multi clan, but you can only make colorless mana if you have a swamp. Hmm. Got two of those. River Boa. Interesting. I guess this one just kind of popped back there. One in a green. Generate River Boa. So two one with Island Buck. Then we got some swamps and some forests. What a crazy little thing right here. I believe that there's 60 cards in all of them, and they come with their little deck boxes. Uh, one thing that I did not see is, um, I think it said that it came with, like, rules. <laughs> uh, instructions. There ain't no instructions in here how to play Magic. So, if you get this, you better be versed in Magic. But honestly, uh, I doubt anyone who doesn't know about Magic is going to buy these. They probably just buy a booster pack or something like that instead. But anyways, this is such a crazy little thing I found. It's just absolutely fantastic, and I just wanted to share this with you all. It's tiny little Magic cards that are miniature. How fun is that? You can just bring these and impress someone, have some fun, uh, bring it to your ne next Friday Night Magic or something like that, play with your friends, and just really have a blast with them. I would suggest bringing a magnifying glass or reader glasses or something like that because the text on some of these, super microscopic. But anyways, such a fun little video today. I just really wanted to share this with you all. I thought it was such an interesting thing. And yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like these kind of things. And I just want to say thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all doing safe and staying uh, healthy and doing wonderful over there. And I uh, just want to say stay positive, spread love, and I'll catch you all on the next one.